so hi guys so today we would be looking at uh, a model uh, this is basically uh, a model you means made using tensorflow and i have also used some famous libraries like numpy and pandas also in this model so in this model we are not going to check the accuracy of a model we are just going to look at overflow of a model overview of a model of how things work in that and how you can make a simple model from scratch we won't be looking at the results or predictions made by the model but rather looking at the concept of a model so uh, the first thing i'm going to do is upload the data set that i would be needing so i would just simply go here and yeah i would be taking the housing data set that i have got this is the data set and if you don't know about this environment this this is uh, google collab uh, in this you can basically uh, run your whole python code and it is famous for uh, for machine learning stuff because uh, once you get started here you are allowed to use gpu and tpu if you don't know about gpu and tpu these are the two things if you do tpu if you want you can even do gpu so uh, for now i would be doing gpu uh, because it's it's it, it makes the code run faster the training uh, goes faster than usual so i would just upload the data set now uh, this is the housing data set and and if you want to use some sample data sets also there are some sample data sets available here if you click here you would see some sample data sets here that are available and now uh, i the first thing that i would be using is importing some basic libraries that is panda matplotlib and sklearn so from here we would be importing tensorflow stf and keras also and after that we would be giving the model the location of our housing so if you are really new and don't want to upload any data set there is some pre data set that have been uploaded here in the sample data that is test and train but for for now i would be i have uploaded a data set from scratch and we would be splitting the data set into two part so this is the place where we uh, tell the location of the data set now here we are telling the shape of the uh, the shape that is 2, uh, 2064 uh, by 10 into 10 and after this we are going to plot the data that how does the data looks like so i would just simply be running this code and this is the data this is how our data looks like you can see the long uh, i would just switch off the dark mode to make things look better yeah you can see this is the uh, latitude and this is the longitude and uh, you can see the graph that has been plotted here now uh, we would be going down and we would be looking at the visualization of the data that how the data what did the data consists of and all so basically this data set consists of the look uh, things like uh, longitude latitude uh, population uh, and the median house value so from this we are going to predict the uh, predict how what is the price of a house using the location of the data uh, of using the available parameters now suppose you are you went there to buy a house from there you see that there are a lot of factors play the uh, play role while you are selecting the house latitude longitude means the location of the house the the median of the house uh, what is the population level uh, and what is the median house value and all everything now if you want to look at the data you simply do housing data dot head so this is going to give you the few self a few values that are uh, at the starting of the data you can see here this is the first uh, line this is the second and these are the four uh, example values that it is giving here so what are the values here it is longitude latitude how uh, housing median age total rooms in the house total bedrooms in the house population near it households median income median house value and ocean proximity so uh, after that if you want to see that if is there any null value in the data because i always tell you that we need our data to be clean it should not contain any faulty values so you can see almost all of them don't contain any null values except the total bedrooms part so what we would do we would count the number of null values in each column so i would simply run this code and you can see the number of null values in uh, total bedroom is 207 hence we would drop the null values as their count is less than 5% so i would just simply run this and we have dropped the null value and i would run this now you can see all the null values have been dropped now if i run this you would see 20433 into 10 and here when we updated that it was 20640 so you can uh, ima imagine that how many values uh, we have then calculate also 207 values have been reduced now coming to the part uh, we uh, we would visualize the data set here i would just uh, uh, 
make them look like that x is equals to pd data frame we are reading that how things are working the two dimensional size mutable potentially tabular data so we are using this data frame part in which we are dividing the x and y columns and then we would be looking at the x head the x head works like this you are, uh, i already told you that these x uh, these are the sample values that you can see then we would be creating a dummy value for ocean proximity because it can cause us, cause us some error so we would drop it first of all so i would just run this and now i would run y dot head and as you can see this is the median house value you must be thinking why only median house value because we defined in the columns the only median house values and data is equal to housing data now we the main part comes into play we have prepared the data we have removed the null values from the data we are going to now split our data so this, these are the part x train x test y train y test and we are going to split it like this the test size is going to be 30% uh, and uh, 0.3 and the random state is going to be 0 now we would be looking at the x train shape this is the shape of it and now we would be uh, uh, you know uh, using the fit transformer from sql library and we would be looking at how it looks like you can see these are the values that it's showing us now the main part we are defining the model this is the tf.keras.models.sequential if you don't know about what is tensorflow and don't you don't know anything about it i would recommend you to go and watch my beginner tensorflow for beginner playlist the starting one or two videos in which i have explained about how these layers are working like for now you can understand like this that this is the model and these are the all the layers in, inside it the first layer the second layer the third layer fourth layer fifth layer sixth layer and they are inter and they are uh, based on the input shape that is the shape of the x dot shape one and now i would be running this and i would be now running x shape one and for now i would be giving the optimizer as adam and matrix as msc and mae uh, you can even change stuff if you want and i would be looking at the model summary so yeah this is the model summary you can see the dense layer uh, these are the layers that are in the model dense uh, the layer 1 layer 2 layer 3 the layer 4 like that and these are the parameters inside those layers and these are the output shape in that so uh, the total parameters are 444000 plus so now we would be uh, fitting the model so for now i would just stop it and because i don't want a very long training i would simply do it uh, 10 times for now and i would just run it and this is where the model is training on the data means you have uh, given the, uh, the data on which your model is getting going to train on and there your data is being trained the model is being constantly trained here you can see the batch size is 10 the model dot fit actually is uh, performing the uh, function and after that what we would do we would predict the evaluation we would evaluate from the model we actually don't even need this so i would simply delete them for now and yeah okay so once we are you can see here the accuracy is that is 68 percent 55 loss function is 66.0.68 and the me is is giving you a, a lot of uh, values uh, different values so if you want to learn about uh, what, what are all these and how you can perform these optimizers and loss function i would recommend you to go to optimizers and K, uh, uh, keras website uh, that is optimizer Keras, here you can see the Keras API and optimizers. A lot of optimizers are present here. The Adam is one of the optimizer I talked about. There are a lot of other optimizers too. That is RMS Prop, SGD, Adder Grad, and a lot of yeah available there. So the model is still getting trained. We have got nine epochs till now, and for, and now the tenth epoch is being run. So after this, our model would be ready to get predicted on things, and yeah. This is the whole part it's going to be working on. Uh, so you uh, now I would just mo do model dot predict once this uh, training get over because after the training the next step we every time do is predict that and evaluate how our model is performing. So I would simply do model dot predict and x test and after that I would do model dot evaluate. So till the time uh, it is doing we would just look at the uh, whole process once again. We imported the libraries. We imported the data set. We visualize the data set, we checked if our data set is clean or not and we removed some errors if there occurs some. After that, we prepared our data set for the model part and after that we defined a model. We split the data set in between that and after that we defined a model, how a model is going to look like, how many layers it would be having 
and after that we trained a model and at the end of the training we would simply evaluate a model and predict the values out of it so our model is done training i would simply predict it and as you can see uh, these are the predicted values that have come over now i would do model dot evaluate x test and it's giving us uh, a loss of 0.00e so yeah it's not a loss so uh, so for in this case i wasn't expecting anything like uh, predictions error or anything but my simple uh, concept was here to make you tell that how all these models are working on here you can see in evaluation it's giving 40% this 46% accuracy around and all and all the prices that have been predicted here so yeah this is the whole structure the a simple model in tensorflow works like you can even perform this in using different libraries called using sk skitlearn and uh, numpy pandas have been already used here uh, but yeah i would recommend you tensorflow because tensorflow is an open source machine learning framework and yeah it's really in demand and the reason for me choosing it is because i have been a tensorflow certified developer and it integrates well with android development too so this was it for the video i hope you got the idea i would be giving you the link to this uh, google collaboratory in the description section you can go and try there so thank you and have a nice day